chat playing a new game it's called ai code now i've been watching this game for a long time and i've been really really excited about it because i like the game style it reminds me of near automata has really cool gameplay action rpg i think they're working on open world stuff so right now i think it's gonna feel like a roguelike game but i think they're going for open world i'm gonna be playing it it's pretty cool they got a lot of cool characters like it's definitely inspired by either near or final fantasy vibes or maybe even kingdom hearts you know i'm excited let's get this it this is not a work of fiction the characters and events depicted in this video game are entirely real yo any resemblance to real living or deceased individuals or to actual events is not mere coincidence from this moment on you will undergo the degradation of a mind memories okay. struggling against each other trying to form a message yo trying to remember a reason for existing in reality okay the state or quality of having existence however okay what defines existence what makes something exist what is your reason for existing yo why are you going so philosophy on this bro what it all starts in the real world the person yo this game was obsessed with making an example oh shibuya wait p a real district of tokyo even if it took years but the question is why narration is still going even though i'm in photo mode what okay this is crazy this is tokyo chat oh my god this looks so good real that word again maybe it's time to wake up okay we got yozora vibes up in here one red eye one blue eye i love that i love i love characters that have that oh Sorry, Lamy. I got lost in my thoughts there for a sec. Yo! Oh, let's get going. I bet Emma is waiting for us at the orphanage. Scanning? Oh, it's running way smoother now. Chat, one person developed this? Oh, you have to take it out. Oh, bro, this looks so good. Orphanage. Oh, orphanage. Okay, we gotta go to the orphanage. Okay. Chat, this is pretty cool, man. Psych! What is going on? What is? Bro, I'm getting goosebumps, chat. What is this place? What? I could. What? Double jump? Here we go. Here we go. Oh my! Talk about trippy. Who are you? Bro. Aren't you tired of being a puppet? Do you ever feel like there's a destiny? Okay. A bigger purpose pushing Bro. us towards an end. Even the beginning feels scripted. As you watch fate shuffle those tarot cards, deciding your future. Is that what you truly want? This looks so good. Break it. What? Break what? We shattering some glass? Combat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo? Oh my gosh, she's like ice skating. I'm straight up clicking. Oh, that's dope, bro. That's dope. Every man's world picture is and always remains a construct of his mind and cannot be proved to have any other existence. So does it think about this? Is this picture the world she truly desired? What is real and what is fake? The, the line is blurry like you. Let's go back to the initial question. Are you real? No, better yet. Are you alive? Really? Yeah why <laughs> yes it's unfair that you're limited to responding with just yes or no that's very true well i have the freedom to write like this she probably felt the same way but still many times i ponder if it was really the right thing to do in the end this question loses its significance it's all a matter of perspective in your eyes you are alive 
Yet in actuality, you parallel the, I don't know how this cat experiment, a cat coexisting in life and death simultaneously, but in different worlds within a closed box, similar to yourself, akin to her. Shall we open the box? I have no choice, bro. You're making me. Holy cow, bro. You're making me like question my life, bro. Are you good? <laughs> cat? Kitty. My name is Cat Rick Cateman. I'm 27 years old. I believe in talking. Okay. Oh my God. I'm 27 years old. I believe in taking care of myself in a balanced diet. Bro, what are we doing out here, bro? I need to. <laughs> Wait, what does it say killed cats at the top, bro? One out of eight? <laughs> what is this, bro? Oh my god, more cats. Pet cat? Alright, chat, do we pet or kill cats? Let's just pet one. Okay. Oh, uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna let me continue, I bet. I bet I bet money I have to kill all of them. Pet then kick? Okay, let's see. What if I just skip it? Oh. Bruh. That reminds me of Kingdom Hearts right there. You are here, Aiko. Aiko? No, I... I'm... Aiko. You keep telling yourself that you are Nia, but you are Aiko. Yet your mind is so deteriorated that you genuinely believe that's your life. In that beautiful town, with that stupid spherical robot as a pet. It's over. Yo! I allowed you to revel in your Bro. absurd tale of a happy life. But now, it's my turn to read you my book. The she, Sapphire she diabolical, bro. Slave. In an abandoned theater lived a very special puppet. It had no face or name. Oh, I'm a new- I'm a different character? Moved it. Oh, I'm a different character. Yo, talk about spicy. What is going- <laughs> All right. And Shower underwater? What is this game? One day, I swear, if I see a shark, I'm gonna lose my mind. Enter the theater. Dude, found the nameless puppet. Already better than Fontaine. He felt a magical. Already better than Fontaine. Decided to take it home. I'm sorry, I had to say it. Bro, what? Dude, this is so cool. Wait, so can I go faster than this or no? Oh, fly. Oh my As God. Passed, the child became sad and confused. One day, the nameless puppet took the child within its strings and with a sorrowful voice said, Dear child, I am your reflection. You've given me life, but I've also taken yours. Look at me. I am what you truly desire. Okay. Interesting. Tale has ended. Your reality fades away. Bruh. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI gradually shuts down. Oh! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Whoa! What is that? Yo, what is this? Can Kingdom Hearts like, like inspired? Can't go in there. I want to see what they're gonna cook with other bosses. This looks so good. Okay. Got a force field there. Yikes! Imagine doing this no hit. Okay. Okay. Yikes. Nice. Okay. And I did that on easy, so I don't know. Wait. Press enter to sign the contract and kill the puppet. Why? Sign the contract? Why am I signing contracts? Yo! Okay. Oh, this looks so. Oh my god! What?
Oh, wow. With courage, the child broke his strings. However, in doing so, the child fell to the ground alongside the puppet, closing his Bro, eyes. Bro, if that ain't no Kingdom Hearts reference, I don't know what is. That, this looks so good. No, that's not a bug. That's how they look when they don't have animations. It's the intrinsic nature of this world. Where are you? I killed you. <laughs> oh, come on. Weren't you paying attention to my story? The puppet and the child. I am your reflection. Look at me. I am what you truly desire. Trippy, bro. But is that true? Or did you desire <clears throat> to fix this fractured world? The one she shattered. She who died in your world. What? Who was alive in this one? What? You okay. Care, Aiko. You gave up. You chose to exist in this perpetual loop where everything repeats endlessly. Breaking Wait. A mind that deteriorates slowly. Oh my god. Refusing to accept the truth. It like it like picked up what I was doing. You did it too. You broke my strings. Your strings. But in doing so, you closed your eyes as the butterfly landed on them. You signed a contract so long ago. This contract allowed you to see beyond this fractured world. You leap through countless timelines, leaving behind multiple versions of yourself. Dying over and over again in an endless cycle of death. And at the end, you achieve nothing. You decide okay. to lock yourself in this box, alive and dead, at the same time, in a loop that you call reality. The state or quality of having existence. Break the loop? Okay. However, what defines existence? Break the loop? Okay. Nadada. Wait, do you want to restart the loop? This will delete all your save. No. What? This is so trippy, dude. This is not a work of fiction. The characters and events depicted in this video game are entirely real. Any resemblance to real, living, or deceased individuals this is so or cool. to actual events is not mere coincidence. From this moment I like on, this a lot. you will undergo the degradation of the mind, memories struggling against each other, trying to form a message, trying to remember a reason wow. existing in. Like, this game has definitely some, like, interesting lore. I mean, it, it was definitely mind-blowing a little bit. Like, there was a lot of, like, questioning. It seems like it's going to be one of those games where you do different alternative endings. But I like the philosophical questions that it was asking. I never had a game ask me anything like that. It was really interesting. Honestly, major shout-out to iCode. Being developed by one person is just insane. I think the game is pretty good, but it, could, it has a lot of room for improvement for sure. But yeah, if you watch to the end here, I appreciate you. It's different than the Wuthering Wave stuff that I post. But thank you for watching. See you soon.